Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Is this the same smell? I think so. Oh, I can smell your cheesy fucking what's it fingers then. Gross! <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies! The lube on them goes wild and crusty. You don't want crusty lube, do you? Oh no, who wants crusty lube? Exactly. Silky so, smooth. We've got. Handy this little thing, saves you dropping all your. <laughs> <laughs> Did I actually just do that? Yes. It's Ben and Chrissy at Carbon and Carlaris, and welcome back to another exciting video. Beautiful day. On a beautiful day. It's, it's fantastic. Sunny. It's nice to be back in it. It feels like ages. It is, mate, yeah. Ages and ages and ages. Because we filmed the last lot in like one block, didn't we? So we haven't yes. really been down here for about two or three weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to be back. It is. Today's video, we're working on the S2000, and we're doing the gear shifter thing. <sighs> I don't even know what it's called, mate. Sorry, mate, I was having a little yawn then. Oh, fuck off. So you say S2000, I start yawning. I had to rush around firing a new battery for it this morning because she was dead and the alarm woke all the neighbours up at 9 o'clock this morning, going yeah. off for 20 minutes. When I got the battery up to him and you actually done it and it went off, oh my God, it's so, it's loud. so loud. It's so loud. Right, I'll get the box. It's oh, so loud. Start, let's open this. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got a little surprise package from Infinity Decals. Who does our merch? Link below. Go buy some of the shit, including the new... Burn out some mirror. Which are fucking sick. Decent yeah, I was right, mate. Is it? Oh, he was right. Oh my god, look at that. It looks sick. He sent yeah. us some fucking Carbongo Carnaries air fresheners. Fucking sweet as fuck. Let's have a sniff, shall we? So, whether or not you can make these now, or this was just a little present, if you can make them. Let me know, because we'll put them on the website. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Are they the same, same smell? I think so. Oh, I can smell as your cheesy fucking what's it fingers oh, then. Sorry. Gross! <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies! Yeah, I think they're the same. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang mine up now. As Ben would say, it smells like granny's washing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're decent, they're cool, aren't they? They're very cool. Aren't they sick? Look at that, look. Well, I don't know whether we're going to be in. supplying these or not, but we'll find out. I'll speak to him. They're sick. Thank you very, yeah, thank you very, very much. much. Nice little surprise, wasn't it? Yeah, I like it. There we go. I'm going to hang it, hang it, hang it up right knee. Right knee. Is it in? Is it in? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I'm filming myself. Look at that, look. Looks ace, mate. Doesn't it? Look at her, that. Oh, yeah. Decent, that, mate. And there's one in the SDK as well. Whatever. Right, so we are doing. What have I got? Let's open them up. I'll show you the part numbers first. We're doing like the regressing. Regressing? Regressing the shifter. Doodah. Doodah. And changing the plastic housings on it because they'll get a bit loose and after years and years and years obviously the lube on them goes wild and crusty. You don't want crusty lube, do you? Oh no, who wants crusty lube? Exactly. Silky so, smooth. We've got <laughs> that bit. <laughs> You'll see where it all goes when we take it apart. Easy on the roof. Sorry mate, oh, I could have shown you the part number of that. We've got the little, remember them bastards? Oh yeah. Got the little wall joint bit for the bottom. I'll link knuckle this all down below. They are knuckle destroyers. All of this was from Cox Motor Parts, and I think it came to about 30 quid, <laughs> 30 quid for all of it. So we've got the little ball joint y bit. We've got, I also thought, fuck it. Oh, damn it, swore. And I bought the spring as well that goes in there, which is used for pushing down, pushing for, a down for a reverse. 
And I got us a pot of high temp urea Honda grease. Honda grease, nice mate. Oh, look at that. So we got grease everything right up. I think it's green. Yeah, oh my god, oh, you'll love that then. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it doesn't like So yeah, so that's all the bits that we should require to sort out the looseness of the gear changes and it should just stiffen it all up and make it slippery it slippery like the gear change. and uh what well, i've read and seen is put we've got we'll put these in warm water because it uh it softens them up a little bit because they are rock hard right okay. and i think to get the original ones off you just have to break them off so we've only one shot of this oh, brilliant. No, no, no pressure, no pressure. so putting these in warm water for five minutes Helps ease them on a bit. Okay. It makes it a bit easier to clip them on. Well, so, boil uh, the kettle then, huh? Yes, boil the kettle. And if it warms, then up. I'll get some tools together. That we'll did, get an S two thousand. That just sounded ridiculous. What I just what said. What did there. you say? I said I'll put the kettle on and let it warm up. <laughs> uh, just boil the kettle. Boil the kettle and let it cool down a little bit. I meant nope. to say. And we've got the roof down today, so we've got a bit more light in the S two thousand. Thanks for your comments on that. Well, no, I was talking about the comments we had last time, you prick. No, we it's were, every time you say it's 2000, we were, it's just yours. We were struggling last time for light. I'm cutting you off after that because you've been a dick. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. So, it was so obvious. We had about and five comments. It's so obvious and we just, I don't know, it just didn't. And it was, why don't you just take the roof top. down so you got more light? And we were like, oh, yeah, we literally didn't even think of it. Did we're, not we're even not think of it. not used to the soft topness. Why not, mate? I was the same there in the sunshine once I changed the battery. Mm. What a pain in the ass that was. Anyway, <coughs> going over to the workbench. So yeah, there's the bits you will require. So All links off. in the description from Cox Market Parts. And it don't really cost very much at all. Hoping the alarm won't go off again. So we need to take this off, this around, unplug what's underneath. We need to take the shifter knob off and then that whole bit should just come up, I think. One way to find out. We'll just wing it as always, let's just wing it. So yeah, shifter knob off first. What was light we got here, Chris? <laughs> yeah, it is. Right, we're going to go one way and turn the other way. So I think you need to go clockwise and I'll go around the clockwise, that's my guess anyway. There we go. Either the right. That was a what size? 14? 14. 14, yes. Oh, that's a long thread. That is, isn't it? That's quite heavy. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> the weighted knob. The voice went all funny, then. Yeah. I'm assuming we've got to take that off as well. I'd imagine so. I've actually, well, we've got some, a couple of toxic knobs coming, but I was going to change that because I've got a, I've got a 6211. One. Over there somewhere. Oh. So yeah, that's off. Oh, 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 for God's sake, oh. Mate. Give, it, give it a wank. Then pull that right up. I think this bit here comes off. There's a clip there, 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 clip there. Honda I clips think. basically every bloody where. To be fair, these feel like <clears throat> that one's clearly broken. Which is a sign that this might have already been done. Let's get, let's get, oh, get an old Chris. <laughs> get an old man. Yeah. This is a young man's car, really, Ben. It's not. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Careful, don't you yank it all the way up. Because there's some plugs under here. I hope this alarm will go off. Because that's all they're mobilising that in there, isn't it? Oh, there. God. God, we've had enough alarm issues this morning, haven't we? We could have disconnected the battery. Huh? We could have disconnected the battery. Again. You've got practice now, mate. You've got practice. What do you reckon? Might be worth it, or? Well, we'll see what happens, mate. Yeah, this, this is... This looks aftermarket to me. Yeah, that's, that's actually wired in it. Oh, I shouldn't have to actually, mate. That's just the light. Shouldn't have to. Right, there's one. To 
be honest. You'd probably do it without it. I'd probably just leave it like that. Yeah. I'll just put that there like that. <clears throat> but I'd imagine that you, you wouldn't have this. Because I haven't seen it in any videos I've watched. So that's just, this is why I think that my stereo is off. Uh, stereo? What the fuck am I on about, mate? <laughs> alarm. I'm tired. <laughs> this is why I think my alarm was uh, not OEM, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Yeah, I reckon this has been done before. You reckon? 100%. This is all broken, and if I'd have known this before, I would have ordered a new one of this. No. Look. Oh, yes. There it is, look. You've got four clips on there, but this one's only got two. Brilliant. That ain't going to be something you can get off the shelf either. No. Oh, no, it is. You can get it at Cox. Where are they to? To get it delivered. Right. Pull that off. Yeah, I reckon this has been done before, my buddy. None of this has actually even been put back. Whoever's done this has done a shit job. So we'll have a look anyway, shall we? What's up? Investigate it anyway. Well, you've got it now, mate, so you might as well change it anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some long old tires in here. <clears throat> Pull that fucking rubber bit up out the way. Like so, got a nice little place there, put your tools. Right, there's... Ow. Where's the bloody... Oh, there they are. So there's... Three bolts. One, two, three. You undo those, and then that will all slide out. Then we can inspect. But it's not looking great, given by that... Someone's clearly tried to do this themselves and just smash fuck out of everything. Language. And not, uh, <laughs> Beep! And, uh, not replaced it, so I'm going to be ordering another one of them for this. Why wouldn't you? I oh, know. For the sake of, like, that's probably, what, four quid, I reckon, that? Probably. Fuck. You get so irate if things are broken on it. You're whispering right in front of my face, mate. <laughs> I can hear you. Right, give me a 10 mil. It's got to be a 10 mil. With an extender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got my shin. That was karma. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? That's the one that always goes missing as well, as we know. The 10, the elusive 10 millimeter. Elusive 10 millimeter. The Uzi 9 millimeter. Right. <laughs> Right then. Get these three bolts out. That should be fine. Three. Yeah, that's definitely been up before, mate. I think so. Easy to undo as well, isn't it? Yeah. It wouldn't be that easy. <coughs> How we we need to buy? Do you want the little fucking hang on, mate? We don't need to, mate. Oh, filming nothing again. I <laughs> did that, I don't think, innit? Good oh, idea, mate. Free, that was, from Wish. Just paid posters. Posters was 85 quid. Bargain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah, was like a pointer. I feel like the weatherman. Today, in the southwest of England, <laughs> it's going to be boiling hot, with a bit of sun. Well, yeah, normally. Scorchio! <laughs> boiling hot with a bit of sun. Yeah, I don't know. Shut up. Take these bolts off. I think he's Michael Fish now. <laughs> Michael Fish! <laughs> Remember he used to do the weather on this morning or whatever on that map in the middle of the river and he fell in the river? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Quite a few people have fallen in that river, haven't they? Yes. Yes, they have. Well, that's clearly not out yet. Clearly not, by. Oh, he is. Handy, this little thing. Saves you dropping all your... <laughs> <laughs> did I actually just do that? Yes, Did mate. I actually just say that? Yes, mate, you did. <laughs> you could. Saves you dropping all your... That's gone forever. Right, you cannot edit that out either. Why is it gone, mate?
I think I think that today is going to be a very very fun day because Ben seems to be in that type of stupid fucking everything stupid up, careless mood we can't be careless on the next video no we fucking can't that's a big one the next one's a big one and it's on my car so <laughs> but I can be careless then no Right, we need to remember what way this comes out as well, because apparently, oh, there's a certain way that it goes. Back in, obviously. I can't believe I dropped that and said that straight up, so it's more dick. What are you doing? Just doing some funky filming, mate. Well, they'll probably want to see what's going on, not the top of my head. Well, they're not going to watch, want to watch you undo a bolt and they're drop it to get me. in, are they? <laughs> pull out the shaft. Right. It's growing in here today. Oh, I well, know it is. It's warm. So that's, that's yeah, that is really loose. That's yeah. So it does need doing. That's good. That's good. So <coughs> basically, that is your your linkage here. And you see all the grease has gone all like crusty, and it's. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it, it's it's still greasy, but there's a lot of wear on there, and. That, that ball joint there is so loose. That looks quite old, actually. So That's loose. So I'm glad we did take it apart anyways. Now I just have to remember what way we're making. I think it was nubbing on the left, wasn't it? Yeah, you literally pulled it out like that. I think it was that way, wasn't it? Nubbing on the left. Let's put the spring back in and have a look. Yeah. Nothing on the left. Yeah. So it went in. Nothing on the left. Nothing on the left. Just remember nothing on the left, Chris. Okay. Okay. I mate. think that can only go on one way. That that bit. I think. There's a little. Well, we'll find out. Right. You, you grab that for me. Off my crotch all region. Just the, just the... Oh, I was just grabbing the socket, mate. What are you just... thinking? <laughs> Old man gets out of uh, 2000. Nubbin <laughs> 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 on the left. Nubbin on the left. Light. Blinded by lights. Red up like a douche. In the middle of the night. Don't get so close to my face. I didn't get close, mate. I just it was, all eyes were on you then. You were doing your solo. <laughs> solo. <laughs> right, we'll give this a little clean so we don't get covered in shit completely. Well, we're on spec. Yeah, look how loose it is. Yeah, very. Like that is so loose. Oh shit! I need to go and pull that water out, don't I? Water. I pulled the kettle, didn't I? Oh yeah, put a bit of cold in it as well, so it's warm, not boiling. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, I'll clean all this up and uh, we'll come back and stop recording. And we're back. We're back. Right, we've put these in some warm water. The housing bit and the nubbin. Technical terms, nubbins. Now we need to try and get these off. I don't think you can get these off without breaking them, to be honest. So, I'm good at breaking stuff. Maybe pliers. Maybe pliers would be best, would it? I'm trying not to damage the fucking. Yeah, you don't want to damage that. The metal ball, that's why. I don't know how loose that is, I don't think it's. He's gone. That's it. Yeah, so he's off. Did it break? I don't think it did, did it? Yeah, there's a little split in there, so. We have got one in case of emergency. <laughs> oh, it's coming. God, that's how loose that is. Shouldn't be that loose. I need to get it off then. Oh. Power in this man. <laughs> you know what that is, though, don't you? Because Ben had a good workout yesterday, didn't you, Benj? What did I do yesterday? Oh, done, yeah. You've done this, look. See all this at the front of the unit here? Yeah? I'm about to think three stuff, I'm not about to do that. Yeah, look at <laughs> this, look. Our lovely landlord, Mike, sorted it out for us, and Ben come down and dug it all out, and put it in and whack a plate it down. So now it's nice and level for getting the cars in and out. 
things you'll do for me. The things you'll do just for me to lower my car, honestly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is going to be lower than yours. <clears throat> right, let's give this okay. a clean up and a little inspection. Oh, rub the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Such a creature, mate. I have an idea. Well, after further inspection, it all looks all right. You want to basically, well, what I would suggest is running your finger over and seeing if there's any burrs in there or whatever. And if there is, I'd to give it a little wet sand. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, how comes the hard bit, mate? Trying to get them fucking things back on here. No, I can't remember what way it came off either. Might have to watch that footage back that we just did. <laughs> <laughs> Nubbin to the left. Right, so he's nice and clean. Look at that, look. Beautiful. Look at that, look. Look at that Honda engineering. Beautiful, mate. All right. We'll come back in a sec once we've got all the grease out and shit. Right, it's time to grease. Grease, grease the nipple. Time to urea grease. Yes. Everything, everything. Look at that lovely grease. Honda grease. Handy to have that there in the old workshop. Right, I'm gonna fucking lather the fuck out of this. That's what we want to do, buddy. How oh, easy this is gonna be. Right, two foot to the left, and that little, see on the end, there's a little bit of the top there that's different. It hasn't got it on the bottom. That bit faces the front, and that little bit there points to the left on UK spec, obviously. The nubbin. If it was a left hand drive, I'd imagine it'd be to the way around, wouldn't you? All right, let's put a bit more in here. <clears throat> you literally... Just grease the shit out of it. Yeah, there's, there's no... Like, there's loads of grease in there, so just use it. Basically, that pot should last for ages, mate. It should do, mate, yeah. Right, I reckon... Actually, it smells quite nice as well. Yeah, it does. As far as grease goes, yeah, look how much firmer that is. Right. I reckon we use the vice for this bit to push down. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, did you like want that. to? Yeah. I'm not gonna. No, I was gonna say it. yeah. Don't... I'm not gonna tighten it. Just gonna do it so it holds it in there and then push down on it. So do it to the left, right in there, like that. There we go. <sighs> nice. Well, you feel the difference in that. You're gonna get grease everywhere. No play at all. No. Well, that is before, as you saw. That was, I mean, it's move got to move, it's place, got to right? move, but I mean, there was movement side to side, whereas yeah. that is just ball joint movement. You know what I mean? So that's, that was successful. Now we've got to put the nubbin in, which I think we use a cloth on the desk. Desk? Bench. Oh. I think this is helping as well because I've watched people is, yeah? do this on YouTube before and not do that, and they are proper like Brand putting shit. all their might onto it. Whereas this, I would imagine, just makes it that little bit more pliable. Yeah. Again, grease up the tip. It's the little always, things. Always help. grease the tip. Never go in dry. A bit more on here. Look, just dip it in, shall we? Yeah. Try to dip it in there, boy. All right, then. This is the one that's a bit of a sod. Yes. This can go on any way, obviously. Oh, all the cloths are just fucked. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that grease spotted me. <laughs> and again. I can save that. Feel that that is safe. That we've look at this here before again. I mean, it moves lovely on the on the ball joint, but there's not there's zero play left and right or up and down or whatever. It's just pivoting. Yeah, whereas before before it was, it was like all it was rattly. So I'm hoping this is because it was quite clunky. My get my shifting yeah, on it. Yeah, it was. But it still feels amazing. But I'm just hoping that this will make, make it a bit, bit more difference. smoother. Yeah, yeah. and it's. Cost fuck all, and you can do it. It's so easy to do. If you follow this amazing guide that we're doing, 
You could probably do it about five times quicker than us, though. Yeah, we like to shit chat, though, mate, don't we? That's all we ever do, mate. All right, this is the shit bit now. We've just got to grease everything. And we've got to grease the spring. Put a bit of grease in the doofa. And then we're good to go. And then it probably take be easier with two people getting it back in because you've got to push it down on the spring to get the bolts back in. But look at that, look. What a difference is that grease is compared to that fucking that grey shit that was on there, look. Like how yeah. hard, hard and crossy and chalky it's gone. I love a difference I should make, I'm open. Might as well put a bit in here as well, in the shaft area, the tunnel, I don't know what you'd call that. Crevasse. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the crevasse. Crevasse. A bit in there, might as well put a bit on the old spring. Oh, the birds are singing. Yeah, aren't they? They're lovely. Beautiful. Right, spring in the hole. Don't forget to put your spring in your hole. I watched a video the other day, and uh, a guy done it all, the whole thing. I forgot to put, put the spring it back in. together, bolted it down, and then in the video he was like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> he way!" He had to take it all apart just to put that spring back in. Oh no he forgot way! To do it. And this is the trick. This is the tricky bit. Right, so nub into the left. Yeah. Bit pointing forwards, and it should just slot right in. Like so. Yep. Oh, look at that. How solid that is. Yeah. There's zero play in that. Right, well, there's obviously a tiny bit, but that is. Right, this is a tricky bit. So, to get those bolts back in that you took out, you have to push that down, obviously. Yeah, and get the Get bolt. that metal plate lined up and get the bolts in. And that's going to be tricky to do on your own. I mean, I'm sure there's a way of doing it, but there's two of us, so we're going to use two of us. Call in the Christopher. <laughs> right, we're back. Fiddly that, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely oh. double hander, that one. Got to make sure the plate's in the right position. Or... Don't do them up too tight. I don't know what the torque specs are from. We'll look them up in a minute. Don't have that everything's full of bloody grease. <coughs> no. Yeah, that was tricky. That would be tricky with one person. Yeah, totally. Really good. Well, there we go. All right, then you push your rubber bit back on. Tab goes at the front. Sits over the bolts like so. Like that. God, I can. God, so notchy in it. I love it. I can tell the difference already. Look at that. Yeah. That's it. Before it was like fucking like this. Oh, it's clunky in it. I love the clunky gear box. <laughs> right, this is the crap bit. Because this is broke. So I'm going to have to order a new one of these because I've only got two bloody clips. Oh, mate, that fucking burp stinks. <laughs> Was it yours, Bab, or my Bab? Yours. Was it? Right. So usually, there's, see there's four four little tabs on there. Well, I've only got two, and one of them's completely come off. And they go in these holes here. Look, if you go in that hole. Chrissy. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking daydreaming. Sorry. So the tabs go in those four. And <laughs> that goes Marvel. over the top. <clears throat> And the tabs go through the boot, so to speak. So that's annoying that that's broke. They're a bit of a sod to get out, that's probably where they are broke. But there's little, like, triangle bits on there, if you can see that. There's four of them, and where the triangle bit is, is where the tab is underneath. And you have to get a screwdriver next to the little triangle bit, get it in and dig it. Do what? <laughs> Boom! Yeah, but I've only got two. That's going to absolutely bug the shit out of him now, because he nice. knows it's broken. It is. Just like that. My God, mate, honestly, this car is just, things like that, it's just so basic, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh... Love it. There we go, boy. Where's my nut gone for that? 
Your nut and your knob is over here, my beautiful. Thank you, sir. Where did that go on? Assuming that way, innit? Yeah. Probably. Well, I don't know, do I shut up at the 61 on? Want to? Have a look for now. Yeah, have a goosey at it, see what it's like. Right. A lovely knob. Yeah, oh, wait nice. at that. I know, I remember it on your FN. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I know. When you put it on a sock and Yeah, I had like this that. one in the FN. It's a 621 neochrome cool. weighted knob. Which is. What I like about it is you don't have to fucking. It doesn't need lining up. That's such a difference, I think. Is it? I bet there's a work light down on the rear somewhere. Should we drop? What was that? <laughs> Bloody spanner. You said it. Done. What a difference. Oh, clunky. Clunky. I think he is that, fifth. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, six. sixth. Oh yeah, I can immediately feel a difference. Yep, yeah, everything clicks back in how it should. God yeah, that feels so much better. So much less play in it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So there we go, that's how you re-grease, change all your... Shut up, Siri. There we go. That's how you change your re grease your shifter doofer. And your nipples. <coughs> put all the little plasticky things on and put it all back together. Easy peasy. Yeah. Took, what, an hour? Yeah. About that, mate. They it, say put, when you put it back in, push it down and put the bolts in, that is a bit That's tricky. literally the hardest that's bit. That's the hardest bit of it. The rest and of it you can if do you've so. got a vice and stuff like that we have, it makes everything a lot easier, obviously, in a workbench. But top tip is definitely soak the new plastic bits that you buy yeah that can seem to make a difference it, doesn't it they, yeah. it's, i've watched videos and they are like and then it goes clonk and then like they're like breaking their fingers and stuff yeah yeah but that after reading on a forum someone said to do it good old forums eh took to s2ki i think that was which is like a world-renowned s2000 forum very yeah. very helpful but like um civ info or whatever it's called mm -hmm. for the civics yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah there you go have one in the bag it's all teed. Easy peasy, now we get to go work on Chrissy's and we are going to rip this car apart. Mm. <laughs> Don't forget you can get all your merch. New t-shirts are out now. They're amazing. Burn out some beers, As well maybe. as your caps. Not together, obviously. No, no not together. Four. As well as your caps and your stickers, your decals, your mugs, your hoodies, everything. First link in the description. Go check out Dino Day's performance parts. <laughs> YouTube channel, website, everything down below, Tactical Racing, Toxic Knobs, Carbon by Ride. Every team. Every team. team. And yeah, thank you all to the new subscribers. We're now yes, over 2,000, which is amazing. Didn't and thank know? you to those of our Instagram followers who joined us for our first ever live yeah, chat. we're going to do a Wednesday? YouTube live, aren't we? Is it Wednesday? Then? No, it was Monday. Was it Monday, wasn't it? Yeah, Monday evening, about 9 We might try and make it a little bit of a... Little yeah, we did a little split screen, because we can yeah. do them um, at home when we're not together. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense, but YouTube, we haven't really figured out well, your internet would be useless at that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's struggling on the right side. So go follow us on Instagram um, because we're going to start doing them a bit more regularly because it's really nice to speak yeah, to, nice to, to talk yeah. to you guys and just have a chat and a couple of beers. Yeah. Sweet as a nut. In this case, about five or six beers. I had two coronas. That was it. <laughs> two coronaviruses. I'm a Lucas Aid. So yeah, Look thank you all the... very much. Yes, Over 2,000 is amazing. We're nearly 2,030 already. So we smashed, we? Up, smashed, I haven't up, checked nearly, a bit. smashed up nearly 30 subscribers in wow. literally a matter of three or four days. That's cool. Which is amazing. amazing. So thank let's keep so going much, up yeah. and we will keep doing it. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. Leave a comment down below. So if, if you've done this before, tell us what you think. We love you all. We should see you in the next video. Peace, Peace out. Bye-bye.